All right, so here we have it, guys. The Bantam HD Left. This is the Shimano Bantam HD Left. And um, we're gonna unbox these things for you and have a look at it. This is a reel that I've been looking forward to um, for a long time to get my hands on. And um, the thing with this reel is that it's just built like a tank. And uh, I have a couple of Shimano Kurado reels. I've used the Shimano 200 for pike fishing, and I've also used the Shimano M Kurado MGL actually for pike fishing as well. Just uh, lighter baits, of course, but uh, obviously, this is the reel for bass fishing or for perch fishing in my region here in Stockholm, Sweden. And this reel is just a beauty look at these colors how beautiful this is designed i love the design actually i love the colors i love the dark silver uh, on this one and uh, i wanted to take a few minutes just to show it to you uh, this, so this is a short unboxing but I will also compare it to uh, a few different reels that I have just lying around here. So this is the HG version, of course, as you can see. What's new about this Bantam, the 2022 version, is that what you can see here, the Infinity Drive. And what basically it does is that it keeps it smooth under load. So uh, you can check out Shimano's website for, for the details about that. But that's one of the main things that's new about this reel for this year. And um, we can also open up this side over here and just have a look. And then we can actually see that it's got these O-rings over here to keep the water out. Not sure if this focuses right here, but yeah, I think we can see it. And on the inside, we have these six uh, brakes that you can flip. And so I think these brakes are pretty strong. And the first thing that I noticed when I got this in my hands, or just right now, I felt like the um, the brakes were pretty strong. So that's actually good news for us. Let's see if I can put this together also before continuing here. All right, here we go. Uh, and the way it feels in my hand is really, uh, it's just super uh, sturdy built. I mean, it feels like a tank. It really, really does. And um, what I noticed is that the brakes are quite tough. So this is all the way down, but it's still pretty tough. So I don't know if that's gonna be smoothing out or if that's something, um, new with this Bantam and if I turn the brakes on to the max man this is man I can hardly turn it this is uh wow okay yeah those brakes are strong actually really strong and also what I notice when I turn this uh, star drag over here I, it just feels rigid um, I will compare it to this Shimano Curado MGL and it, it, it's, it's just got a different feel to it but I will bring out the other reels so we can compare them so we have Bantam, we have the Shimano Curado MGL 150 and then we have the Shimano Curado DC and also we have the Shimano Corrado 200 here. And um, if we look at these differences between the 200 and the Bantam, we'll have a look and see, and we can see that the Bantam 
I don't know if this comes through on the camera, but the band temp looks like it's actually a bit lower than the, uh, the 200. And obviously the spool is uh, not as wide as the 200, but that's, that's as is expected. If we compare it to the MGL150, and because the, basically the, the Bantam is a 150 size, and if we compare them, you can also see that the um, Corrado 150 is um, MGL150 is actually a lot wider as well. So that will be interesting to see how that affects the casting distance on this Bantam. Uh, and lastly, if we compare it again to the Shimano Corrado DC, we can also see that it's definitely not as wide. Uh, definitely not as wide. Feels like these. Um, I don't know the specs here uh, completely, but it feels like the uh, the uh, Bantam is about the same weight as the Corrado DC. So if you own one of these, you're not gonna feel any difference. At least that's what I feel in my hands at the moment. And but definitely, if you compare it to the Corrado MGL 150, the the Corrado 150 definitely feels. Uh, lighter than this one so yeah and if we compare these the heights on these ones i feel like they are about the same the Corrado 150 mgl might be just a tad smaller or uh, lower but it's it's pretty pretty even there but if you compare the feels how this one feels when doing this, compared to the Corrado MGL150, it's just night and day. It's just different. Uh, this is lighter. This is super smooth. So it's not that, it's smooth. But it, it's just how it's built. You can definitely feel the difference in how it's built. And you've got no wobble, you've got no sounds coming out of it. It's just a tank. And uh, pretty much this Bantam is built out of one piece metal uh, frame. So this whole middle section is just one large piece. And then you've got the uh, cap over here, that's obviously a separate. And then you've got the side here that is also separate, of course. But if you compare this to the Shimano Corrado MGL150, you have this side over here, then you have the middle, uh, middle section over here and then you've got one or two different sections over here as you can see and that's one of the main things that makes this Bantam just feel so rigid so let's have a sound check on the uh, click uh, sorry the, the star drag and also when you, you put your uh, thumb on your brakes here so I'll just be quiet and show this to you to the Shimano Corrado MGL150 a bit higher pitched sound and definitely feels a little bit more plastic if I say same goes for the thumb bar you have a higher pitch a bit more plasticky feel to that comparing it to this again The stops are just more subtle and the thumb bar just feels a lot more rigid and sturdy built. So yeah, that's an unboxing of the Bantam Shimano Bantam 2022 model. Uh, this is an <coughs> HG, <coughs> so this is a Shimano Bantam, the 2022 model. This was a short unboxing and first impressions of this reel. So I hope guys you liked it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.